Ten years ago on the internet, I saw a box made out of a mahogany and bloodwood with bloodwood um, dividers. And I thought, I'm going to make one of those someday. So here it is. It's a Paduke top with bloodwood dividers and mahogany sides. And uh, it's going to be present to Liz. I'm going to call it Grandma Lizzie's Birds and Other Animals. <laughs> and here it is, loaded up with the animals, the birds. That was a lot of sanding. I think that may be the most sanding <laughs> I've ever had to do. But I think Liz will like it. I hope so. Kind of early for Christmas. I'm not going to give it to her till, till Christmas, but I think she's going to like it. So here's uh, where I am on this box I'm making for Liz for Christmas. Inside of it are going to go these little animals these that I cut out of wood, but the box I made out of genuine mahogany and bloodwood. The interior uh, sections are going to be uh, bloodwood, and then the box itself is mahogany, and the lid is a thicker piece of bloodwood. The process I've used really is to cut out the pieces and the dados, then uh, assemble them all, sand, sand, sand. I used 80, then 120, then 220. Blow it all out with compressed air. Then I've used acetone, and that's where I am right now in the process. And then I'm going to um, use uh, some uh, Zissner shellac, I guess they call it seal coat, just to uh, seal it in the wood and clean it all up, and then use lacquer. And then I'm going to buff it out using uh, a buffing system. We'll see how it ends up.